Marco Marco Maura Kamau versus Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission which provides that earnest opportunity would include the stage before plea taking. We'll also rely on the same point, we'll rely on Republic versus Duma Kalume Kalama. E Kenya Law Report on the same issue. Donna, on the grounds upon which a party may be allowed to challenge was open to the subject to make representations relating to the provisions of the election act and that is the same way we have demonstrated by making reference to the sports act the other authority on that issue of the principles applicable or the grounds for challenging a charge sheet in the first instance is the case of DPP versus Kuldeep Madan. Where the court provided that at the first instance, the court has jurisdiction to look at the charge sheet and the circumstances surrounding the arraignment of a subject. Was this regulation, Your Honor, and I'll read the portions that are relevant, are in fulfillment of Article 47? That is fair administrative action in Article 50 of fair hearing. Your Honor, I submit the following. That. Sorry? I will not read. I will not read either. In fulfillment of Article 47, fair administrative action and in fulfillment of fair hearing under Article 50. Father, Your Honor, in this particular regulations, which we had the benefit as legislators to go to the public and seek their views before they made, became law, The citizens approved these regulations as a basis upon which an inspection process and report can be actionable. Therefore, Your Honor, the Director of Public Prosecutions cannot choose to ignore those sections of the regulation which are part of section 52, 53 and 54 that were enacted pursuant to the power of parliament under article 94 and which, your honor, are the basis of this constitution. Your honor, what you will be doing by admitting this charge is sanitizing an illegality. And Your Honor, 
the benefit of these regulations which I will give to you, which are in five in regulation number 19, 5, 6, 7, 8. are so fundamental to the defense so fundamental to this defense that a determination on whether those regulations are worth the paper they are written on is something that is key to this process Your Honor, and there is a reason. The federation under which this gentleman before you is a president of is not just any other entity. Is an entity, private as it is, receiving public funds upon request, audited by the Auditor General every year, but more importantly, audited by an international body called FIFA. That's why this gentleman seated before you has a title that most of us envy called the President. It's not just any other person, it's called the President of Football. And therefore, when we were passing these regulations, and I, I reiterate this point, the idea of these regulations and this, what you call interim basis of providing a process, was to stop government and the executive from interfering with sports. we made sure that there was no shortcut. Because governments do not run sports organizations, like football, anywhere in the world. And therefore, Your Honor, we, we, we plead with you to give what we call a legal interpretation to those regulations, the Sports Act. Not just for this gentleman, but for the future of football in Kenya and for sports in Kenya. It is critical. Because if these regulations don't matter, then we don't need the Sports Act. Parliament should amend that law or throw it away. Or alternatively, the court should repeal or annul it. Because then it doesn't make sense. But before the will of the Republic of Kenya, and I'm talking about the public through the Sports Act and the regulations, before the court finds that they have no meaning, we want to see that finding so that we, we can determine and then advise our clients and advise the country generally when we are making law or when we are representing clients of this nature. So, Your Honor, those are my submissions. And lastly, to say as follows. This gentleman enjoys a status I don't. He enjoys a status not enjoyed by many public servants. The money that he deposited is still in court. He has agreed to attend to the investigator when called upon to do so. We urge you, Your Honor, in good stead, to release him on bond terms, as you make your ruling. We, it feels very bad to hold a president of football in a police station three nights in a row, another three nights in a row. Your Honor, you cannot have any further worse violation of not just him as a president, but of any Kenyan.
just be complied. The owner is worthy to note that we did Before you, your owner, he knows what offenses uh, he's facing. There is no objection as to whether he's not able to understand the particulars of the offense. In fact, there is nothing that has been raised concerning the offences that have been preferred under the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. I do confirm that the accused was arrested last Friday, that is the 26th day of November 2021. The owner is strike law that it should be produced within 24 hours. And when the 24 hours falls within a weekend, then we go to the next uh, working day, which is today, uh, the 29th of November, 2021. I submit that his rights are not being violated as indicated. And you can see he had he had sufficient time to be represented by able senior counsel. And therefore, the state has not violated this constitutional right whatsoever. Your Honor, uh, the DPP is mandated under Article 157. And also in line with the decision to charge guideline 2019. To charge or not to charge. And having exercised his mandate. After considering the evidence provided by the investigating officers. A decision was made to charge the accused with the offenses before this court. The honor is also worth noting that the DPP does not work in exercise of his power, does not work under the control of any person or authority, or does not need the consent of anybody to charge. And in fact, under Article 157.11, 
the DPP in exercising his powers shall have regard to public interest, the interest of administration of justice, and the need to prevent and avoid abuse of legal process. Uh, Your Honor, I would not like to comment on the report of the inspection committee. The preliminary report is one of the documents we intend to supply and therefore would not like to discuss. To look at it, uh, what they have. So again, I will not comment on that. Your Honor, it is. and it's been brought before you today because of the weekend. So it is my uh, contention that no This is a matter that is in the public interest. A fair hearing a fair, or a fair administration of justice. Your Honor, I beg, I pray that uh, you allow. of the court process is to make reference to the said proceedings. But like Donna, our submission was that this court cannot divorce the provisions we have cited of the Sports Act and the regulations there under which with that law then that would be a challenge to the substance of the charge sheet of the charge by Leonard Prosecution Council for the DPP that indeed the preliminary report will be relied upon according to our submissions in exercise of the DPP's powers, prosecute your powers the DPP is obligated to take into account quote unquote need to prevent abuse of legal process. Mm -hmm. And we have submitted and demonstrated that the legal process is being abused by way of the current charges. Lastly, on a procedural issue, Your Honor, with your permission, Whereas the subject was arrested on Friday, 
he has not been produced in court at nine in the morning we have been ready and waiting for these proceedings from nine since we are following and we officers of the court we can report that the file has been registered or the charge has been registered at one I think it is indicated about 115 115 p.m. 1 PM. It is indicated in the charge sheet 115 p.m. Without um, reading too much to that action and knowing the proceedings in respect of bail, we just hope that this is not yet another attempt to delay any possible order of release that the court may issue, given that now it's about three. It was available to sit at this time. You wanna, without seeming to direct the court, in event, and this is our plea, in event that the court is minded of a reasoned ruling, we urge the court to take into account that from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and still today, the suspect has been in custody. And this court has inherent jurisdiction and powers to order a stopgap release on terms as the court determines the question of the constitutionality and legality of this charge. That is all. upon which investigations were triggered and the basis upon which any criminal charge against the subject would be preferred. Donna, without going into the details of that affidavit, when the court retires, it will note that the investigations were triggered by the registrar of court by way of appointing an investigation committee. Donna, it is our submission that if we can be able to demonstrate before you now that the proceedings leading to that investigation report were nullity in law or are nullity in law, then that becomes part of the grounds for objecting to plea taking. under the Sports Act that 
before the report is acted upon, the subject organization under, in under inspection ought to be given a hearing and an opportunity to implement that report. Jonah 52, 53, and 54 of the Sports Act. It is admitted in that affidavit that I've made reference in the miscellaneous application that the subjects and the organization were never an opportunity to implement the report. And I've been interested in recommendation number one, which says that or provides that uh, the DCI, so I'll, I'm interested in the fact that the recommendations there in fire and the further action is required. Submission, Your Honor. In view of the affidavit which I've made reference to, can be based. in regards to the process is that if then that would be a violation of Article 10 and 50 of the Constitution. Around the report itself, and relates to the management of football in Kenya, where the petitioners are Football Kenya Federation, as against the Cabinet Secretary Sport. Jonah, this matter was heard as a matter of urgency before Justice Ongundi, Jonah, in that regard, we are relying on the case of Michael 2019 E-Kenya Law Report on the same issue. Mar December 2017. This particular one, objections were raised <laughs> an election and the High Court pointed out that it was open to allow me to with your permission, one. Can I get the phone? 